Who will do, tiddly peeps? I'm Hubba Hubba, talking to you from Hoobland, and I'm about to send four of my favourite hoobs down to Earth to find out all about you for my great Hoobopedia. Here they come! You know who the hoobs are? Ivor! Groove! And Tula! We're hoobs! And they're ready to go. Things we want to know. Hey! Holla, holla, in Hoobland, and Rome is somewhere far away. The motorettes are singing. We keep the engine spinning. Hoop, hoop, hooray! The Hoobopin is coming your way. Dip Tula. Oh, Hibble Dip Groove, look at that! At what? The view! You can see so much from up here. Oh, yeah, so you can. Yeah, I love it up here, you know. It's great for collecting sticks and twigs. It's so high up, <laughs> catches whatever falls from the trees before it can reach the ground. I mean, oh, look at this. Just look at this. That's Hooby Groovy, that. <laughs> hmm, is that a stick or a twig? This Tula is a twig, and so it goes in the twig part of my collection of sticks and twigs. Tula, Groove! We're up here, Ivor! Oh! Uh, uh, ouch! <laughs> um, <laughs> has anybody thought up a question for Hoob News yet? Yes, please, may I live on the Hooby Roof Garden? L live on the Roof Garden? Yes! Well, just look how far you can see! Well, not very far. There's a great big peep tree in the way. Yep, and that peep tree must be where this came from. Thank you, big peep tree! And it's a uh, stick, I think. Yeah. Hmm. On second thoughts, I don't want to live on the roof garden. No. You don't want to have sticks falling on you all the time. Come on, let's go downstairs. Time to think up a question for Hoob News. I'd like to live higher than the roof garden. Higher than the roof garden? <laughs> yes, really high. So high I could see above the trees. Oh, but where? Where, where, where? Where? Good question. Where could Hoobs live where they could see above the trees? Hubba! Ah. Oh, the... oh, here's Hubba Hubba. Well done, Tula. Where could Hoobs live where they could see above the trees? That's a fantabby Hooby question, Tula. Thanks, Hubba Hubba. Just the sort of thing that Hoobs everywhere will want to know. Perfect for my Hoobopedia. I'll email Roma to tell her to look out for somewhere that Hoobs could live that's high up. Uh, higher than the trees. Right. So, as you are on the peak planet, why don't I take a look on Hoobnet to see what I can find out about where peeps live? Goodness me, that's a big house. Oh, look at that. Now, that's a house with a thatched roof. Oh, look, there's a home in a forest, Hoobs. Oh, aha. And that's a houseboat. That's a home on a river. Oh. And here's a peep coming home. There's a peep in a tent. And there's a wrinkly peep wrinkly just wrinkly stepping wrinkly outside her house. Hoobie galooby. Peeps have hoob loads of different homes. But none of them was very high up. You couldn't see above the trees in any of those. Sorry about that, Tula. I keyed in the words where peeps live and forgot the high up part. <laughs> I need help with this one. <laughs> Stick or twig? I've no idea, Groove. Hubba Hubba? Ah, a uh, stick, I think, Groove. You're not helping us answer the question, Groove. Ah, but the tiddly peeps might. <laughs> uh, just what I was going to say. Um, what about a visit to the tiddly peeps? They're smart. They're fun. They, they know. know. I'll go. And I'll drive. Let's get those motorettes singing. Oh. By the way, Groove, what? that is a twig. All right, thanks, Tula. <laughs> <laughs> Seatbelts! 
seatbelt. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. On the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. They're smart. They're fun. They know. The tiddly peeps. The tiddly peeps help us find things out. They give us clues. They tell us news. That's what they're all about. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. On the road we go. We're off to see the tiddly peeps. They're smart. They're fun. They know. The tiddly peeps. The tiddly peeps. If we need to know who, what, where, why, when, and how, we'll ask them off we go. Tiddly Peeps, that's what they're fun, they know! <laughs> Hello, Baldo, Tiddly Peeps! Hello, Hello Baldo, Tula! Want to do a Hoobie Hello? Yes! Hello, Baldo! Hello, Baldo! Hello, Baldo! Hello, Baldo. Hello, Baldo. Hello, Baldo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. What are your names? I'm Bradley. And I'm Ursuline. You were pretty high up on that thing, weren't you? It's called a climbing frame. Hmm. We're trying to find out about things being high up today. Do you know any other places where you can be high up? Yes! You can be high up on the slide until you go wee all the way to the bottom. Oh, that was hoobly groobly. But do you know what? What we're really looking for is a place where you could live that's high up. Yeah. Squirrels live high up. They live in holes in trees. Oh, I'm not sure if either Groove and I would fit in a squirrel's hole. No, maybe not. What about a bird's nest? That's high up. <gasps> You're right. Maybe we could make one that's big enough for all of us. It could be a hoob nest. <laughs> oh, Bradley, that's a, a brilliant, brilliant idea. idea. Thank you so much. That's all right, Tula. Ask us any time. I will. Now I'd better get back to the Hoobmobile so we can start building that nest. Hoobble toodle do. Hoobble toodle do. Oh, a nest would be a great place to live. Stick or twig? Twig. Twig. <laughs> So now all we have to do is build a nice big nest and then we can put it in that tree and be really high up. Who basis idea, Tula. <laughs> Let's make a nest. <laughs> <laughs> but how? How, 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 how? How, 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 how? How, how, how? How, how, how? How, how? How? Stick or twig? Huh? Wait a minute. What do birds make their nests out of? Stick or twig? Sticks and twigs. What? <laughs> Groove, do you think we could use your collection to make our big hoob nest? Please. Uh, my collection of sticks and twigs? Well, if it's to make a nest, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'd probably make a hooby groovy nest. <laughs> I'll get you some more. A nest would be perfection, but birds don't build with bricks. How about Groove's collection of assorted twigs and sticks? We think you'll find when building a nest It's just this kind of thing that, that is best A stick on the left, a twig on the right Our nest will soon be quite a sight Yes, our nest will be quite a sight A spindly branch will thread right through will be finished before long We'll weave these bits together and they'll make our nest so strong. There's room enough for all of us. It needn't be a squeeze. We can all sit up here in it and look down on the trees. But wait, there are a few things you've not thought of. Like sticks and twigs won't make a comfy chair. And also you've not really considered how you're going to get this nest up in the air. But what I'm most surprised to hear that you forget Is that a who really won't want to get wet What do you mean we built a nest? One of a kind, quite the best But just look up, you'll see the sky where rain comes from And my, oh my, if there's no roof, you won't stay dry No, if there's no roof, you won't stay dry 
hadn't thought of that. Not only do we not have any way of getting this up into a tree, but if it rains, we'll get wet. Do you think I can have my collection back now, then? <sighs> Thank you. Of course, Groove. A nest isn't the answer. Who be blow? Ivor. Oh. Now what are we going to do? Roma, Roma, Roma. Oh, it's Roma. Maybe she's found out where hoops can live where they can see above the trees. No, but what about helping... Uh, uh, stick or twig? Twig. Hoobble doop hoobs. Hoobble doop, Roma. No, Hubba Hubba has asked me to find out all about homes. And as you can see, above me at this very moment is the most magnificent tree. Oh, are you going to tell us all about birds nesting in the trees, Roma? Yes, because we've already thought of that. Oh, no, don't worry, Hoobs. I found something much more exciting than a nest. If you look up in that tree, you'll see the most hoobacious little house. It's called a tree house. Oh, yeah, look at that hooby groovy little place. Isn't it marvellous, Groove? <laughs> These wonderful little houses are built by Peeps and Tiddly Peeps in the branches of trees just like this one. The Tiddly Peeps play all sorts of games up there, and sometimes they have snacks and drinks up there too, Ooh, which nice. I think is a hoobacious mm. idea. Yeah, me too. The only problem is that I've tried three times now to get up that rather wobbly rope ladder. So now I've decided that I'm going to have my drink very firmly here on the ground. <laughs> this is Roma Hoob reporting from under a fantabby hooby treehouse. Hoobble toodle do. Hoobble toodle do. Oh, that treehouse was hoobly groobly. You wouldn't get wet in that. Yeah, and imagine having all those sticks and twigs around you. You could just collect them before they even felt the trees. <laughs> That's it, then. The place hoops could live where they could see above the trees is a treehouse. <laughs> Wait. A treehouse is in the trees. The question is, where could hoops live where they could see above the trees? You're right. And you can't see above the trees from a treehouse. Oh, hoopy hubba. blow. Hubba. 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 Who be blow, who be blow, who be blow? Oh dear me, what's the matter, Ivor? Let me guess. You thought you'd found the answer, and then it turned out not to be the answer at all. Exactly. You can't see above the trees from a tree house. Who be blow? Never mind. I just happen to have a story from a tiddly peep that might just help. You do? And it's a story that's well above the trees. <laughs> There was once a little goat called Hugo. He lived with his father at the foot of a mountain. Hugo would stare up at the mountain and dream about living higher up. One day, Hugo said, Dad, I'm tired of living at the foot of the mountain. I want to be higher up. So they moved halfway up the mountain, which was much better because they could see the valley below. Nice, cool! Nice. Look! We can see the whole valley below. But after a while, Hugo said, Dad, I'm tired of living halfway up the mountain. I want to live higher up. Hmm. So they moved to the top of the mountain. Oh, this is perfect! You can't get higher up than this, said Hugo. Hmm. But Hugo's dad decided to build something that would enable them to be even higher up than the top of a mountain. He worked and worked, day and night, and at last his invention was ready. It was a beautiful airship. Ooh. Dad, you're the cleverest goat I know, cried Hugo. Hugo and his dad climbed in and went higher and higher and higher. They could see the valley below, the whole mountain, and all the trees. Above the trees! From that day on, Hugo and his dad went for rides in their airship every day. This is perfect! Hugo would cry. You can't get any higher than this. Hmm. <laughs>
Loopy Galoopy, that airship was hoobacious! Yeah. Quick, let's go up to the roof garden to see if we can see any. Yeah. <laughs> and while we're up there, I'll get some more twigs, because it seems to be a bit short of those. The airship in the story was definitely high enough to see above the trees. Mm. Ah, here's one. <gasps> Where? <laughs> Here, look. This is one hooby groovy twig. <laughs> Groove? We're trying to look for airships, not twigs. Hmm. Now, the only thing that worries me is, um... Yes? Well, in the story, the place where you sat in the airship looked really small. Hoops couldn't actually live in a place that small. Yeah, I mean, where would I keep all my collections? There wasn't room for a hooby clutter cupboard. And anyway, Hugo and his dad didn't actually live in the airship, did they? No. No, they only went for rides in it. Oh, who be blow? Who be blow and who be blow? Oh, Ivor, stop who be blowing. We must be able to find the answer somewhere. <laughs> but where? Where, where, where? Where? Here's where. I'm going to ask Hubba Hubba for some help. Hubba, 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 Hubba. Hubba, Hubba. Who will do poops? Who will do hubba hubba? We still don't have the answer. Oh, never mind, Ivor. I'm sure you're closer than you think. One more visit to the Tiddly Peeps might just do it. Hoobly, groobly idea. I'll go. Uh, do you mind driving again, Ivor? Because I really need to sort these sticks and twigs. No problem, Groove. Come on, Tula. I'll get those motorettes singing. <laughs> Doop Tiddly Peep, what's your name? Doop Doop Tula, I'm Kai. Well, Kai, I wonder if you'll be able to help me. I don't know, Tula. I hope so. Oh, so do I. We've been trying to find out about places that are high up. Oh, what's this you're playing with? It looks hoobly groobly. It's a toy town. <laughs> oh, look! It's got Tiddly Tiddly Peeps and oh. Tiddly peeps, and tiddly cars, and tiddly buildings. Yes, it's just like a real town, except everything's tiny. Oh, there are tiddly trees too. Wait a minute. That tiddly building over there is bigger than this tiddly tree. That's because it's higher. A building that's higher than a tree? Are you sure? It's a tower block. They're much higher than trees. Tower block? I don't suppose you could actually live in them, though, could you? Oh, yes. Lots of people live in tower blocks. They have apartments in them, and people live in those. And they're like this? Yes, except much, much bigger, of course. Who oh, big a ah. So, from a real tower block, you could see right above the trees. Definitely. Oh, Kai, I think a tower block might be the answer. I'd better get back to the Hoobmobile. Do you want to take this little toy one back with you to show Ivor and Groove? Oh, can I? Thank you very much. Hoobble toodle do! Hoobble toodle do! <laughs> Thank you. Hoopy Galoopy, look at the size of it! Oh, wasn't that Tilly Peep clever? He knew all about living high up. Yes, Tula. I've just downloaded a picture of a tower block. Look. <gasps> Hooby Galooby. <laughs> well, you'll all be very pleased to know, I'm sure, that my sticks and twigs are now safely in my clutter cupboard. Good. And you'll be happy to know that we've got the answer to today's question. Oh, it doesn't get any better than this. Come on, it's time for Hoop News. High up in the engine room, motorettes will sing a tune. Sing up high! Poor 
sing it low. Sing very, 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 very fast. Or sing it slow. High up in the engine room, motorettes will sing a tune. I like it the other way. Me too. Let's do it then. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Well, Hoobs, are you ready to give me your Hoob news for my great Hoobopedia? We're ready, ready Hubba Hubba. Hubba. Then take it away. Hoobo Doop, whoop! To all you Hoobs out there, welcome to Hoob News, the new show for Hoobs everywhere. I'm Ivor. I'm Tula. And I'm Groove. And today, we've been asking the question... Where could Hoobs live where they could see above the trees? It all started when I wanted to find somewhere where I could live that was higher than the roof garden, so I could see above the trees. Hubba Hubba found us Hoobloads of peep homes on Hoobnet. But none of them was very high. Next, I went to see the Tiddly Peeps, and they said there were lots of high-up places you could live, and they suggested a nest. So, we made a nest. We think you'll find when building a nest It's just this kind of thing that, that is best A stick on the left, a twig on the right Our nest will soon be quite a sight Yes, our nest will be quite a sight But we couldn't work out if we'd ever get the nest into the trees Besides, if it rained, we'd get wet if we lived in a nest then Roma told us about hooby groovy tree houses. But tree houses are in the trees, not above them. Then Hubba Hubba sent us a story about some goats and an airship. But the place where you sat in the airship was very small, far too small to live in. And the goats didn't live in it anyway. They just had rides in it. We were just about to give up when... I went to see the tiddly peeps again. And they showed me a toy town. I noticed there was a building which was higher than the trees. And it was a building you could live in. It's called... A, a tower block. block. The perfect place to live if you want to see above the trees. Hoop, hoop, hooray! So it's thanks once again to Ivor, Tula, Groove and Roma for giving hoobs everywhere a little peep into the world of peeps. And remember, wherever you are, wherever you live, have a nice day and hoobble toodle do Hoobble toodle do Right, I've had enough of collecting sticks and twigs now. You have? Yeah. Where are you going, Groove? Yeah, up to the Hoobie Roof Garden. What for? To start my collection of leaves, of course. <laughs> And Rome is somewhere far away The motorettes are singing We keep the engine spinning Hoop, hoop, hooray! The hoop, 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 hoop